Verizon's 5G home internet. My address doesn't qualify for the service, yet I still have it. You want to know how? Check it out. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you're not new, then you know that I've been on a mission to find decent internet options for those of us that live in rural areas. I'm still on a mission. And this video is about how I got Verizon's 5G home internet, even though my address doesn't qualify for the service. Now this current form of Verizon's 5G home launched earlier this year when Verizon began its C-band deployment in mid-January. Not to be confused with the Verizon 5G home that was launched on millimeter wave in a very few select areas in a very few select cities. Now upon launch, it's way more available than Verizon's previous 5G home internet, but it's still expanding and still not as available as T-Mobile home internet. Now I've been on numerous Reddit threads and YouTube comments where I see people say, this is geolocked, it won't work. If you're not using it at the address, Verizon geolocks it so it won't work which is partially true. I'm gonna show you how to get around this, how I got around it, so stay tuned. Now, the first thing you wanna do is go to verizon.com forward slash 5G forward slash home. Then you're gonna put in your address and check availability. It's also gonna ask for a telephone number or email address. Once you put that in, hit check availability. Now, once you do that, most of y'all are gonna be in the same boat as me. It's gonna be unavailable in your area. For me, what they do is say that Verizon's internet services are available. Unfortunately, 5G Home isn't. The internet services that they're talking about that's available for me is DSL. No thanks. For you, you may see the same message as me, or they may tell you to put in your email address and they'll let you know as soon as it becomes available. Or you may have other options available like LTE Home or Verizon Files. And if you have Verizon Files, you need to stop watching this video now. Sign up for that because that's the best internet option you can have available to you. So as you can see, whether I'm on the Verizon LTE Home Internet or the 5G Ultra Home Internet, it just tries to sell me DSL because these services are not available in my area. So what I did was find out which cities the 5G home was offered in. First, I tried in my state. And since I'm in the files footprint, there wasn't a lot of luck. Either files was available in those addresses or DSL. In either case, they wouldn't qualify for the 5G home internet. In some rare cases, I found home LTE available, but that's not the product I wanted. So I went out of state. I chose an address somewhere in Michigan that qualified for the address to bring me to the order so I was able to order the 5G home. And instead, I used my address for the billing and the shipping address. And when it came, setup was pretty easy. I waited for the unit to boot up. And after it did, it settled on a steady white light, which means, according to Verizon, that my gateway is good, I'm connected to the internet, I should be able to log in with the Wi-Fi credentials and be on the internet. Well, I was able to connect to the gateway, but I had no internet connection. So I tried for the next three days with Verizon tech support to get some type of internet connection. The first two reps I got said they put in a ticket and then it'd take three to five business days for me to find out what's going on. The third one that I got actually did something that worked. Now it cost me $15, but it was well worth it to get the unit to work for me. Now when I ordered the gateway, since I used a Michigan address, the SIM card came associated with a Michigan area code and prefix. Now, since I live in Pennsylvania, the rep suggested that we change the number to match the area code and a prefix in Pennsylvania. Wasn't sure if this was gonna work and it cost me $15, but it did. So what I believe is that these gateways aren't locked geographically to a location, but instead they're locked to an area code for the region of the address that you order it to use to qualify it. And that number can be changed to match an area code and a prefix to where you actually are. And once that's done, it works. Now there's no Verizon C-band or 5G in my area, but there is a great LTE signal, which is enough for this gateway to connect to and give me decent speeds and a decent upload consistently. Now, unlike the LTE home internet, where I hear that it's capped at 50 megabits per second, I get the best speeds that the LTE in my area offers me, which can reach up to 80 megabits per second. Now the video is capped at 50 megabits per second when I do speed tests on fast.net, but the regular speed tests are 
reaching 80 and maybe 10 to 15 up. So that's how I got Verizon's 5G home internet, even though I don't live in a qualifying area and I have no Verizon 5G in my area. But the minimum requirement, I would say, is to have a decent LTE signal without requiring antennas. Maybe if you have a booster system, you might want to try that, but I would suggest that you make sure you have a decent LTE signal at least coming to your home before you try this so you don't pay for something that's not going to work for you. But even without the C-band availability, I'm not seeing the 200 megabit speeds, but I'm seeing decent usable speeds that are consistent on Verizon's 5G home internet with just an LTE signal. So if you get a decent Verizon signal, but you're getting this message that is not available to you, you might want to try this, try out the service for yourself and see how it works for you. For me, so far so good. Thanks for watching and have a good one. I'm here to help. If my help's not appreciated, lots of luck, gentlemen. Thank you, you've been helpful.